so hopefully you can see my belly this is the belly of a lefty unicornuate uterus see how it's tilted this way oh and look at my bruising this is one week and two days after my IV. So that's when they gave it, well, that's where they gave it to me. But this one over here is where my vein busted or something. But yeah, I bruise easily. So it's still healing. But yeah, see how it's slanted this way? Baby girl is all over here. Like it's super soft here. Then very hard all on this side. So she's definitely leaning this way. I don't know if you could tell, but in person it looks crazy. Harley, come here. Come on. Let me see your outfit, Harley. Come here. Let's go. Harley, let's go. Wow, Harley. Your outfit's so cute. <laughs> 32 weeks. You can see she has the hiccups here. She's been getting them very frequently recently, like multiple times a day. <laughs> okay, so I had my appointment earlier today for my OB appointment. Um, it was my 32 week checkup and um, yesterday I had my high risk appointment and they did a growth scan on the baby, like an ultrasound just to make sure she's doing okay. Um, so yesterday at the ultrasound, everything looked good. They checked her heart again, which looked really good. She's measuring four pounds, eight ounces, which is in the 60th percentile, which don't ask me what that means. Cause I have no idea. Um, they did say that her belly was pretty big. She it's measuring at 34 weeks. So she's a little chunky baby, which isn't surprising because my husband, Charles, he was 10, like 10 pounds, I think he said when he was born and I was like eight and a half ounces or wait, I can't even talk. I was about eight and a half pounds when I was born. So she's a big baby. I'm not surprised. Um, while I'm talking, I'm just going to be rubbing my belly down. So normal, actually, so I've been using this Nivea irresistibly smooth with deep moisture serum. Um, and I love how it smells and I like that it comes in a tub because I was using like a pump. Oh, I'll show you what I was using before. I was using this before. It's just like a coconut oil lotion that I found at Ross and it smells really good. Um, oh, I guess I could have just done this bandeja because <laughs> there's still some left in here. The only thing I didn't like about this one is that you have to, well, like when you rub it in, it takes forever to rub in. So that's the only thing I didn't like about this. And I didn't like that it was a pump because I feel like I was having to like pump a lot. So I got this Nivea one, which is really good and it smells delicious, but I did get this in my baby list gift box or whatever as a sample to try out. It is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Massage Lotion for Stretch Marks. And I've heard this is pretty common for that. So I'll be rubbing this down as I'm talking. And real quick, this is, as you can see, my shirt doesn't even fit anymore, but I'm like, I'm going to sleep. I don't care. Um, 32 weeks. And I don't know if you guys could tell but my belly is like super crooked because like I have been telling you guys I have a lefty unicorn uterus which means my uterus is predominantly on the left side so she is all right here man so if you see like my belly is like lopsided that's why like right now she's over here that was another thing that they told me yesterday at the ultrasound is that she still breached 
and normally they're supposed to be already like flipped upside down preparing to come out um, so her head is up here, feet are like over here, so she's kind of like curled. Um, but obviously that, I asked my doctor today if that was a concern, like with her being in there or whatever, and they said, oh, I don't like how that smells. And it's super thick. But um, like I was saying, I did ask my doctor if there was any problems with her still being breached at 32 weeks and there's no problem because I will be having a c-section so there's not really an issue with her being breached still um, this far along in my pregnancy so that's good um, at my doctor appointment today like they just measure my belly and like check my weight just to make sure everything is good and they did tell me that I passed my three-hour glucose test yes. which is good because I was not trying to do that thing again and like I don't even know what they do when you have gestational diabetes but I wasn't trying to find out so I'm happy that I passed that okay this feels really good but it doesn't smell like it has no smell I don't know it's weird but it feels really good on the belly and as you can see I don't have well I don't know if you can see but I don't have any stretch marks as of today i know that can change but haven't had any stretch marks and i've literally like i said just been using regular lotion like no nothing fancy or anything hmm. okay i could get down with this as far as symptoms go obviously being out of breath um is one of them and my back has been hurting like my lower back my hips, just lots of pressure. Um, I do still get nosebleeds, but it's only like once every two weeks or so. Obviously frequent urination, it's been harder for me to sleep too. Like I get up like maybe four times at night to pee and I'm like having to run to the bathroom. That's another thing because her feet are down here, she's been kicking my bladder and it hurts so bad. And I'm like, I'm gonna pee myself one of these days. Um, okay i am all greased up i think that's all i have for you guys today i just wanted to show you guys a belly update and tell you guys how my appointment went and all of that i need to lay down because i'm going into the office tomorrow and i need to get rest and yeah my back's starting to hurt and i'm out of breath okay bye hey That's a big belly. That's a big belly. I don't think there's any more room in here for her. She's starting to hurt. 34 weeks, baby. Today. Oh, look at that crooked belly. Ooh. Like there? Give her kisses. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's Mina. <laughs> it's Mina. You have a baby in your tummy? I hope not. Uh -huh. Can I see a gummy baby tummy? Never a gummy baby. <laughs> Only Thea has a baby in her belly. I literally just got out of my 35 week appointment with my doctor and oh my gosh she literally just told me that I have to schedule my c-section at 37 weeks as opposed to 39 weeks that's literally two weeks away from today I was not ready to hear that because this whole time she was saying oh we'll schedule your c-section at 39 weeks but she went into my chart from my um, fertility, fertility, bleh. I'm frazzled right now, um, from my fertility doctor. And in those notes, because I had major uterine, uh, major uterine repair 
Um, she wants me to get in at 37 weeks because just in case um, I go into preterm labor, which I am high risk for. And just to make sure like the baby's out, she's safe, um, she has room to grow, all of that. So yeah, um, I'm shocked. So I at this point, I just have to wait for the hospital to call me to schedule a specific date. But I just had to update you guys because that took me back. Um, yeah, so that's the update. <laughs> So I am officially 36 weeks. <laughs> um, just got home from my growth scan appointment. And excuse my nasal nasaliness. My allergies are kicking my ass. <laughs> Look at her. So I think she looks like me. You can see her little eyes, her nose, and her lips. And she already has her duck face down. She's like. <laughs> but everything looks good so far. I didn't tell you guys that we scheduled our C-section date for April 13th. Which is next Tuesday. Today's Monday. But yeah. Seven days away. Eight days away. Which is weird because I literally called the date she, was, she would be born like to the day. And I'll play back the clip. This was back in February. Chicken fingers. But we are doing like predictions on when we think our baby will be here. And what did you say? I said 39. 39 weeks. April 28th to be exact. Okay. And I said April 13th at 37 weeks. And it's just weird. Um, and I keep telling people that Charles and my number is like three, three always comes up with us. Um, my maiden name means third in Spanish and Charles is the third, like not junior, but the third. Um, his birthday is April 10th, mine is April 3rd. So 10 plus three, 13. So we're all gonna be Aries, which is a little scary, pray for us. Um, let's see what other updates. Um, I've been having some like light cramping, but nothing serious or intense or anything like that. Obviously, it's getting harder for me to sleep. I'm waking up like every two hours to go to the bathroom, but I feel like it's been like that my whole pregnancy. Um, it's just like more often now. They did test me for the strep, strep B today or whatever. Um, I won't get those results till next week. So they scheduled me for my last appointment on Monday, the day before my C-section. She still is breech and she's measuring six pounds, 12 ounces, but I know that's not always accurate. Um, I know babies always like either go over that or are way below that, but she is measuring that right now as of today. Um, she's still breech, like I said, which isn't a problem because I'm going to have a C-section regardless. My last day at work will be this Friday and then I'll be off for three months, so... Yeah, I have to go get tested for COVID tomorrow at the hospital. And I think that's pretty much it. Can't believe we are a week away. I feel like I just found out I was pregnant right in that bathroom. It's just so crazy how fast time is going. And then here's her little setup. I don't think I've shown you guys. We just have her changing table and all of this stuff is what we're taking to the hospital up here. But I bought a whole bunch of different like storage stuff just to like separate um like her socks mittens diapers wipes books um we have in our guest bedroom like a tall dresser and um a closet so all of her stuff that's not newborn is in there but newborn stuff is still in here her bassinet stroller we have like a diaper pail over there but her bassinet will be right by my bedside so that'll open up space over there, which I want to get a rocking chair to put there, but we'll see. So here we are at 36 weeks. I feel like not much has changed. Obviously a lot bigger, but I feel like I'm still carrying pretty high. <sighs> are you excited to meet your sister? You're not going to be the baby anymore, Harley. These dogs have been feeling it. 
um that's pretty much all I have for you guys I just wanted to update you guys because I know it's been a while and yeah we're in the home stretch okay talk to you guys later bye all right we are less than 24 hours away from the moment I'm a little nervous not nervous in a bad way but more anxious uh, more than anything uh, I'm just I'm sure everything's gonna go right just can't wait to see her and um, put my arms around her and um, it's gonna be an interesting moment so we're just gonna you know try to document as much as possible and we appreciate all of the support that you all have given us what's your thoughts um I'm, I feel like I'm literally feeling every emotion in the book right now. I'm like anxious, excited, nervous, scared, just all of the above. And I'm sure those are going to be even more intense tomorrow. But this journey has just been amazing. And my pregnancy has been really good too. Like I know there's been a lot of scary moments and worry and stuff. But overall, I feel like I've had a really smooth and good pregnancy and it's just crazy that tonight's like the last night that I'll be pregnant with her. That was quick. I feel like it. we just found out we were pregnant. <laughs> like I blinked and now we're here. But yeah. That here is we go. crazy. And like fast. he said, we are going to try to vlog as much as we can tomorrow. Um, just to document everything and more so for us to remember this moment. Because mm -hmm. obviously it's very special to both of us. So stay tuned for that vlog. Yes, and we again we appreciate all of you for following us during this journey. It's been a long road, mm -hmm. and um, this is like the Christmas, right? The Christmas Eve. Yeah. <laughs> so. But way better. Yeah, but way ten times better. So, yeah, my birthday was like a couple of days ago. This is like the gift. So. Stay tuned, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you follow us during this journey. And um, yeah, we can't wait to share it with you guys. As you know, I am Chuck. And I'm B. And we outie.